A newly inaugurated Donald J. Trump delivered a fiercely populist and often dark address, promising to transfer power in Washington from political elites to the people and vowing to put America first. Surrounded by members of Congress and the Supreme Court, the nation's 45th president repeated themes from his historic and divisive campaign message, describing children in poverty, schools in crisis, and streets pocked with crime and carnage. For too long, a small group in our nation's capital has reaped the rewards of government while the people have borne the cost, Trump said. Washington flourished but the people did not share in its wealth. The establishment protected itself. In his 16-minute remarks, he criticized an educational system flush with cash that fails to fulfill its mission to students. He lamented factories left to rust while jobs flowed overseas. And he decried crime and gang violence, despite reports from the FBI and criminologists that the U.S. crime rate remains near historic lows. This American carnage stops right here and stops right now, Trump said amid cheers from the crowd. Moments earlier, with his hand on Bibles once used by Abraham Lincoln and his own family, Trump pledged to preserve, protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, completing an unlikely trajectory from real estate mogul to the nation's 45th president. A crowd that stretched along the National Mall assembled under gray, Washington skies to witness the ceremony. So did nearly every living former president from Jimmy Carter and George W. Bush to Bill Clinton and his wife, Hillary, who was defeated by Trump last November after a costly and bitter campaign. His formal remarks from the inaugural platform harkened back to his campaign speeches, We will bring back our jobs. We will bring back our borders. We will bring back our wealth and we will bring back our dreams. Trump went on to blast empty talk by politicians of the past. Now arrives the hour of action he said. Flanked by his extended family, his vice president, and congressional leaders, Trump took his first actions, signing papers for his cabinet nominees and proclaiming a national day of patriotism.